Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer all your questions. So we got 10 questions to answer in today's video, so let's get straight into it. Starting with Jawa, and he says, do you think LEGO's system is terrible? Yep. Yes, I absolutely do, unfortunately, because of course I love LEGO. I think we all do, that's why we're here, right? Um, but... The the greatest example or of something that happened recently would be the Nebula B frigate. Um, I'm not 100% sure on all the details, so if I don't get something correct here, then I do apologize. But the way that they released the set and then didn't actually have enough, so they oversold something that they only had a limited stock of. So then they just randomly canceled certain people. Some people still got it, but most people they just randomly canceled. They just like randomly generated you qualify, you don't. And that just seemed really stupid. I was one of those people, I bought the Nebula, Nebulon B frigate, I think that's how you pronounce it. I was one of those people who bought the set and then they were like, a few days later, hey, so we're gonna cancel your order, so here's your money back, you know. And it's just like, oh, okay, you could've at least like maybe given me some like VIP points or something, but nope, they didn't give me anything. Um, I know I could have complained and then maybe got something, but I didn't bother. Um, but so it's just annoying. And as MNR always brings up, that Lego slogan is the best is good enough. Are you sure about that? <gasps> no, no, it's not. It, it 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 definitely is not, and that's such a shame. But um, hopefully they'll start improving, you know. And so yeah. But anyways, our next question comes from Burner Builds, and he says, "What are your thoughts on the new Lego Star Wars Holiday Special?" Is it that, or is it bad that I actually loved it? No, I liked it too. Hello there. Um, there were some pretty, like, cheesy, kitty like, moments thrown in there because at the end of the day, you know, it is for kids. Um, but I actually really enjoyed it. There is a lot of cool, like, references to the original Star Wars movies, um... It was very, like, fun, well done. There was lots of cool, like, little jokes, and it, it, it was really nice. And the animation was spot on. It was beautiful. Um, I loved it. And the thing that I think is really crazy, though, is this set is kind of, like, the advent calendar is kind of now, like, based off of that holiday special. Um, and so... It's like, why didn't the ray that they put in that set come with a yellow lightsaber? That would have been the perfect opportunity to do so. Because she had it in the um, holiday special. But, I don't know. I liked it. I thought it was cool. So, I'm going to turn that question around and actually ask you guys that. Did you like the holiday special or not? Um, you know, so, yeah. And then, our next question comes from E.K. Starlord. And he says, what's your favorite part of Jedi Fallen Order? This. <laughs> Our next question comes from Lego Darth Vader Studios, and he says, If you had the choice to choose the next UCS set after the gunship, what would it be from these three choices? UCS ATAT -AT or a UCS TIE Interceptor or a UCS Death Star 2? Those are all really cool, and I would love to see them all personally, but I, if I could pick, I would pick the... AT, AT I think the most people in the community would agree that that would be the absolute coolest. It would probably be the, like, very first thousand dollar Lego set, um, at least Lego Star Wars set, and it would just be oh so gorgeous and beautiful. They would be able to put so much more detail and, like, care into the way it looks and just everything, and it probably wouldn't happen, but imagine if it was motorized, too. That would be, like, the best thing ever. So, um, I'm gonna pick an AT, at So, yeah. Anyways, our next question comes from Wolf Productions, and he says, How many LEGO Star Wars sets do you have sealed? Well, I had a few, but over this year, I opened them all to save money occasionally on reviews. So, as of now, zero. Unless you count poly bags. If you count poly bags, um, off the top of my head, I have the Han Solo... Like the muddy solo from Solo in a poly bag. I have the, um, uh, shoot, what's it called? Anakin's Pod Racer and Snowspear 20th Anniversary Edition poly bags. And I have the, um, 
Obi-Wan before he was cool and sold on Lego polybag. Um, so yeah, I got those polybags. Um, so if polybags count as sets, which I don't think so, then that's how many sealed sets I have. So, um, I don't have any sealed sets though. Anyways, our next question comes from the Reeter and the Skeeter. I, I think I pronounced your name right. So if I didn't, I do apologize. Uh, maybe you could correct me and tell me how to pronounce it if I said it wrong. Anyways, I'm going off topic. Uh, he says, do you like the 20... 13 ATRT or the new 20 no I, I guess 20 20 but uh or the new 501st battle pack both both is good personally um I I really love the old uh 501st clone trooper from the 2013 ATRT I, it's just it'll always stick with me as probably the greatest 501st clone even though compared to the new one it's got less like design and detail and print and everything um but I do like the ATRT more from the 501st Battle Pack or um, the Clone Trooper, the 501st Clone Legion set or whatever it's called. Um, so, but I like both personally. So, and if you don't have them, I suggest getting both. Um, anyways, our next question comes from Tree Man, and he says, "What is your favorite Marvel Avenger? Mine is Captain America. That, yep, Captain America is pretty cool. Um, if we're talking about the movies, like just the movies, I really love Thor." Um, especially after Ragnarok, like, Thor's always been kind of cool to me, but, like, after Ragnarok, he just became, like, this amazing, funny, like, just awesome character, and I love Thor. So, Thor is my favorite Avenger in the movies, and I can't wait to see, um, the new Thor movie that will hopefully happen, I think, in, like, 2024, and I think it's rumored that Thor will be in Guardians of the Galaxy 3, if that ever happens, so it's going to be really cool to see that, though. Next question comes from Ace Game Studios, and he says, Do you think LEGO would, could make a mini modular, m modular, however you pronounce that word, um, 15 or $20 Among Us sets to make three different maps of the game? And do you think it, wait, do you think it would work? Um, okay, so do basically what you're asking me is do do I think that Lego should make or could make um, Among Us sets and would they work and sell? Um, it's hard to say, but I'm gonna say no. I don't think it would work, and here's why. Um, Among Us is really popular right now. Actually, I think it's starting to decrease in popularity. Um, but Among Us was really popular and. Just the way that LEGO works and how everything can get done, it would take at least a year, and that's them rushing it, um, to get a set out, maybe by, like, this time next year, and then this, the game might not even be that popular anymore, um, so then it wouldn't sell, and, I mean, I'm sure it would, but it wouldn't, if that makes sense, so... I don't think LEGO's gonna do that, plus licensing, they gotta buy license and and make like deals and contracts and all that jazz that no one likes to go through. So personally, I don't think it's going to happen. So hope I'm sorry if I'm um, like being a Debbie down or rain on your parade or whatever. Um, but I don't think it could or would happen. So, and I personally, I don't think it would sell because by then who's going to care, right? I could be wrong. The game might blow up again. Um, or by next year, everyone's going to be like, what's among us just saying. Um, so yeah, and our next question comes from EK Styload, and he says, Will you be getting the PS5 and Miles Morales game? Uh, no and no, because I don't have enough money to be spending on a PS5 and video games as well as LEGO, and I'd rather be buying LEGO uh, for reviews and stuff. Um, however, the Miles Morales game, I heard rumors that it'll be coming to Xbox, so maybe someday if it comes to like Game Pass or on like sale or something, I might get the Miles Morales game, but um, I'm an Xbox user and I'll probably always be an Xbox user. Now, if I'll ever get the new Xbox, that's probably possible, but not in the near future. So um, yeah, and our very last question, or it starts with a joke and then becomes a question, is from Chicken from the Oven. And he says, what do you call a, a tall man in Utah? Utah. I, 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 I get it, but that's, that's really dumb. <laughs> uh, anyways, his question is, um, what console or computer would you want? So rather than like a new computer, like a new Mac or a new Windows or some, um, something like that, or a PS4, PS5, um, Xbox, you know, I would like a new 4K monitor. That would just be oh so cool. It would 
probably help me make better quality videos in terms of like things like ASA with screenshots. They would be in 4K instead of um, HD and uh, things like Mox of Music maybe would look better just a little because 4K instead. Um, so, and then I could download videos in 4K and they would actually finish processing in 4K. I, I don't know how that all works um, entirely, but so a 4K monitor would be great. So if you want to buy me one because you're asking, um, I'll send you a DM on Instagram. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. So thank you all very much for watching. Remember to comment a question or two down below for the next episode. Next episode is episode 30. Can you believe that? Um, so yeah, and leave a like on this video if I didn't say that already. And have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. In the words of Burner Builds, toodles! Did, did that come out right? I don't I don't think so.